In this module, we're covering an overview of the Keras architecture and the components that are involved. A Keras is an end-to-end -end solution that covers all aspects of the FP&A financial planning and analytics process, respectively corporate performance management requirements. From initially managing the data integration, either as an end-to-end -end application for specific systems like, for example, NetSuite, HubSpot, Xero, QuickBooks, and many others, where the users initially just select the system that they need, they click on the Add button and the system will automatically generate the data model and the reports for all typically used areas from actual budget comparisons, group performance sales, dashboards, uh, financial reports, and so on. And it does this for as many companies uh, as you've added uh, to Ectaris. And you can then either review the consolidated results or the results for a particular organization. And these reports are already configured uh, in an optimal way. They're configured for advanced analytics and machine learning where you then get um, automatically artificial intelligence uh, insights, for example, what's driving um, the increase from a particular month to another. And I can then see uh, what drove the increase, uh, for example, that particular companies had uh, positive results or particular account codes drove um, the uh, results here, I can see that a particular product group um, has performed very well. Some other ones have reduced this, but really insights at your fingertips. And then also the financial reports uh, using the Ectaris um, Power BI visuals that are providing you with the most advanced um, and easiest to use financial reporting capabilities that is automatically giving you the IBCS standard uh, visualization types from waterfall to uh, subtotal calculations that you can very easily define and the right formatting. Another integration option with very quick results is a Keras Power BI Sync, an external tool for Power BI that enables you to add market leading planning functionalities as well as synchronization options with a data warehouse. Just point to the tables after you have transformed them to your requirements with the easy to use Power Query options and can then use them with the ATA Carries Power BI Visuals and the Excel add-in. Just add the resulting write back table to your existing Power BI reports and immediately profit from the most comprehensive planning options on the market. In addition, Power BI Sync also allows you to effectively distribute Power BI reports via PDF. Just select the reports or dashboards that you want to distribute. You can even define filters and select particular pages and these will then be distributed in the chosen interval. An additional very powerful generic option is a Keras Instalink where you can just specify um, the data source. So you just add the data source to a Keras and specify the particular table that you would like to use. For example, let's take here the uh, account name and then you just specify what's the ID, what's the unique ID that allows you to synchronize with the source. Uh, you specify the name and you specify the attributes that you want to use. For example, in this case here, I just want to have uh, these two. And that will then automatically create the model hierarchy with a life link to the underlying data source, but you can still edit everything without affecting the source. So you have the automatically updating, this can be scheduled uh, to automatically update, for example, hourly or daily or whatever you require. But you then have the option to fully edit this. So to you know, add new columns, to add new calculations here. And you can use this immediately as part of your planning model. So this was the data integration side, either automatically from Power BI or completely automated from uh, data model to uh, report with the apps. And then you have the option in the modeler to manage uh, all the aspects. For example, the user rights, where you can automatically add your Active Directory users to Ectaris. And you can then set up the security rights. These could either be very simple, that some user group or user has access to budget and can write there, or some more complicated dynamic uh, rules that you can define uh, with all the database details. And you can also set up the application logic, you know, things like um, financial calendars, um, automated currency conversion, 
and a variety of other things uh, that you can then use in your models. And um, the models are immediately available to the user. So you can see the dimensions that make up the structure of the model and the cubes or tables uh, where I can then see what uh, structures, what dimensions is this cube using here. And you've got full flexibility to use as many dimensions as you want in as many cubes as you want. And then finally, you have the logs uh, where you get full transparency what has happened in the system. So every single transaction gets recorded and you can see who did what when. On the front end side, you have now a wide variety of options. So you can use Power BI, you can use Excel, you can use the web browser or via the API uh, add uh, carries functionality into your own systems. So if we just quickly look at the most widely used one, which is Power BI. We see now this is a standard Power BI report with the typical elements like slicers and you know any other kind of visual. But we have then the Actarius visuals here where I can uh, turn on the edit mode and then can immediately add um, my data from here in a very comprehensive fashion. So for example, I could say I want to add a particular number here. This is then automatically added. I can uh, immediately see what are the effects on the total. I can do this data entry on any level of uh, the model. And I have now a wide variety of options here. I've got the options to use like, where I can say use a particular distribution to distribute the value down to the children. I've got the option to do relative increases. And um, I can enter comments um, to, the, to the data, even supporting rich text uh, with an editor. And I also have the option to copy and paste. So if you have data, for example, in spreadsheets, you can immediately copy um, the data from Excel as many rows as you want to into the Power BI visual. What we can also see here are workflow options where I immediately can then publish um, my forecast or budget uh, into a workflow that's then immediately visible for the administrator. So here I can now immediately see the workflow status. This workflow has triggered, for example, email notifications to the manager. It will also change user rights so that they can't modify it anymore. All this can be very easily set up in Actaris. And in a similar fashion, there's now a wide variety of other planning options with the eight um, Power BI custom visuals. So this could range from very advanced uh, tabular options where you can edit um, the records by just clicking here with a variety of validations, with date pickers, with option check boxes, with this validation uh, that uh, you want to enter only particular number types and really making it very simple to edit uh, your records here also with bulk um, options. And then um, we also have um, more in innovative uh, visual planning options where as opposed to entering a number, the users can just drag and drop on the chart. They can immediately see what are the implications of this change. They can see the effects on uh, the KPIs. And then a wide variety of particular integrated planning options from sales planning, uh, HR planning, capital expenditures, loans, and in the end, the cash flow and other financial reports are automatically calculated. The final thing is the Excel add-in. In the Excel add-in, I have now similar option as in Power BI, but with Excel ease. I want to drag this to the other cells as well. I can then immediately see what are the changes that uh, I have added here. And if I'm ready, I can commit them. And uh, I also have very advanced um, editing options. For example, I can say I want to edit a particular table and uh, just for particular columns, for example, I only want to edit the assets. And this will then automatically allow me to uh, maintain my assets, for example, to change um, particular aspects. For example, if I want to change this now to a new um, name, this particular account, I can do this and then can publish it. And this will then automatically update the central data source to this particular detail. This concludes uh, a quick overview of the Actaris architecture and the components. For more details on all aspects of Actaris, please check out the other training videos.